Today, the digital age offers photography a range of cameras to choose from, but has something been lost when talking about photography as an art form? Did people forget how it all started? Tristan Cole has been in the photography business for the past 26 years. Modern society is all about right here, right now. Auto features on cameras are so reliable that you see the results instantly. There's nothing to learn, it's just flick a dial here, it changes the setting there, and it's job done. Hayley Brown is a recent photography graduate student, and while relatively new to this field, she has a different perspective. Digital photography is great. I mean, I work with digital cameras all day. It brings a lot to the table, especially for people that grew up on film. They, they really enjoy the fact that they can, you know, shoot multiple images and not have to wait for them to be processed. But I think people are bored of it. Photography teacher Lalo Borja also believes that the digital era has simplified this type of art form too much. The reality of it is that because the digital techniques are so easy to use, you eliminate a lot of worries when you photograph. You say, I don't have to worry about you go click, 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 click. A study made by the Camera and Imaging Products Association shows that starting 2005, there were no more film cameras produced and the digital ones took over the market along with the smartphones. But even 10 years later, people feel the need for something different and are going back to where it all started. So why would people choose an old technology in today's digital world? Digital has become so like, mundane. Everybody uses digital, it's so there, it's so instant, whereas people get excited about film still. I think that there is a sort of a reaction to all this incredible technology that you have where you could do anything you want. You could put yourself on the moon with the astronauts if you wanted by using Photoshop. Every book said photography doesn't lie. That doesn't that, that happen anymore because photography does lie. I, I suppose there is always that search for a true, something, uh, searching for truth and that thing that you could get that in film, you know, but also to conserve an old art that it would be, uh, it would be a shame if it disappeared uh, because this is, you know, this is valuable. They did say that film was, you know, dead, but I would disagree with that. The best digital kit really can't compete with a good lens on a good film camera. But is using a film camera offering you something more than just amazing images? When you are shooting film, you have the need to be extra careful. You don't have access to 500 exposures of something. So you have to be conscious of, you have an, a limited number of, uh, of negatives that you could shoot. And also that will force you to be more conservative and also more concerned about what you are going to shoot. You have to limit yourself, but you also have to demand of yourself that you want to get the right exposure, the right image, the right composition, the right cropping in your negative. This teaches you a little bit of discipline when you compose. What digital's taken away from photography, not necessarily film, is skill. You don't need a skill to be creative. But now because uh, digital photography has become so instant, it's rather like you don't need the skill, you press the button you should start with a film camera because you really define um, yourself as a photographer learning on film. You, you know how to use manual, you know how to set your aperture, shut your eye, so you know how the light works um, and you, you can pose better you're not standing there shooting several shots in one go. I had the opportunity to join Pete Fry as he captures Wistable on a film camera and he told me about the challenges that he faces. It slows you down and it, it makes you think more, particularly you know, the, the project that I've been doing over the last year, I've been shooting a lot of film exclusively, and uh, I think it has sort of made me better at taking pictures. While the quality and skill of using film cameras is superior, does the complexity and the cost involved in developing the film discourage the use of such equipment? The benefits of digital is that it doesn't cost as much. You know, you've got the initial outlay, a camera, maybe a tripod, this, that and the other. Um, but what makes photography expensive was always film processing, buying new films. You know, if you're looking at £10 every 36 shots, it doesn't take very long. 3,000 shots and you've bought yourself a brand new digital camera. You don't know what you're going to get, you have to wait until it's processed. Um, and even then, sometimes it's, you're not sure what you're going to get, so uh, sometimes you don't get anything at all. Plus, sometimes the camera itself will make it more difficult. 
but you do get a lot of mechanical problems with old cameras that get jammed. And this one has shredded a few films on the way out, but it's <laughs> it's part of the charm of using. Is it film. painful when when it gets destroyed? It can be, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they have like you the have perfect bit, shot, and then you have to be a bit philosophical about it. These things happen. You know, with digital cameras, you get a bit obsessed with everything being perfect and everything being controlled. And film camera, film photography is a bit more sort of. Um, you, you, can, you don't get to control everything. Film is not only about knowing your camera settings, but also about how to make your pictures come to life. This is a language that uh, students learn to use. We don't enforce it, we don't say everybody has to do it. But out of, uh, let's say, 15 uh, students in a classroom, one or two of them will be interested in that, in the darkroom. It is a choice that the students have. They choose to do uh, digital and traditional. I mean, Photoshop is nice and is good and is usable and is comfortable, but it could be so untruthful. The darkroom is a dying art form filled with both tension and excitement that the digital age can't replicate. My first experience working in a darkroom is just a magical experience. You get addicted to it, hooked on it. To see an image just appear in front of your eyes in the chemistry is just magical. People just getting into photography, I'd say, that's one of the things which gets you hooked, so you need to learn it. <laughs> so what will you choose in the end? Will it be film? Or will it be digital?